Hello and welcome to another episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. This is Briathan of the Citadel Guard of Gondor. Garlic is saying hello as well. And we're back at the old sawmill in the Limlight Gorge. So we are maybe struggling a little bit, but we're making good progress in here. Just uh, grabbing my habit present of the day. So as you see here, we have two quests uh, as of the moment for the Limlight Gorge, but we can also complete this deed that will unlock another quest. So that the quest that you will unlock is a quest that you can only complete in nighttime. So I think I'm gonna take the chance of, of being here in daytime to be able to find all the ruins that I am missing. And um, and that way, as soon as it gets dark, I can uh, well, I can go and get that quest. So I, I'm helping myself a little bit with um, with a wiki, just a little. Ah, ancient ruins. I don't know how did I miss this one. You have discovered ancient ruins. Good. We're gonna get the copper in here. Uh, there should be some other ruins a little bit further to the north. And according to what I saw in here, that that might give me the chance of well fighting some spiders or trolls that we still need for the other quests. But the main focus today is uh, the ruins. Getting all the remaining ruins before night time. Mysterious ruins. There we have some as well. And I think we can take some time to, to try and do some of these other things. Oh my god. I'm frozen again. The remaining two ruins that I'm missing, uh, they are located on the western edge of the map, so there, there is some time for that. Now, this Marauder Troll will try to attack you. Well, it's trying to attack us. I'm trying to avoid him because this is the Black Ore Bane that we need to search. As soon as we use this, some trolls are gonna spawn and we'll need to defeat them, so I hope I can take both of them at the same time. The main of ore seems to be worthless. What about this one? No? Okay. Maybe this one? Hmm. This vein of ore seems to be worthless. What exactly do you want me to do? Master, maybe we can take out this. 
fighter in here without too much trouble. I don't know, I'm thinking if I should switch back to red. I, I don't think we, we would have too much trouble going red for this fighter. They are they are elite masters and they might apply some nasty devops, but at the same time. On the last episode we were able to take the horns that were also elite masters. The problem comes when you're trying to fight a nemesis system. A, a nemesis enemy, sorry, the nemesis system is another thing. When you're trying to fight an enemy nemesis level enemy. That's when you might start getting into trouble. Just to be safe, let me pop up. Never surrender before... Before I forget. So that way it will hopefully come off cooldown by the time I need it. So yeah, it seems the spiders are not a big deal. Oh my god. The big deal was, oh my god, pulling two of them at once. I don't think I can survive this. It would be a total surprise if I can. Worst moment ever for skill lag. Well, as long as I'm not affected by it, only the spiders, maybe I can <laughs> do something with that. I don't know, it seems these guys went kind of crazy. They cannot see me. They are not attacking me. Oh my god! It respawned? What are you talking about? Search for a deep vein of upper ore. I'm not, not entirely sure where that one is supposed to be. Ah, but here is one of the ruins I was looking for. The crumbling ruins. So, I think this means... Oh my god. God. That is 
striking me. Back on my feet. What? Die, 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 you die. Did, did this guy spawn those other smaller guys? We were applying a nasty, nasty poison in there. power. I have all the venom glands. Please, that's something. Well, that was at least a little bit better than what we usually get in those um, backpacks. So. Looking for the remainder of spiders. Um, trying to trigger the quick trip lead and I just remembered that exclusive to red line I feel kind of bad with myself
making good progress, if you ask me. Now, in a, somewhere, there there should be some veins, deep veins of copper ore. We already did the black iron, but. Where is the copper ore exactly? I don't know. Okay. I thought that this might be allocation related with the explorer did. It's not, so it's time to get out of here as fast as we can. Thankfully, these horns are not really that fast. No issue in here. Should we'll be able to lose them really soon. So why the explorer did? Because we're missing the lime, the limelight holes, and the pothole. The limelight holes are pretty much self-explanatory. But the pothole, I'm not entirely sure where, where that is. But I think it should be somewhere around here, and that's also the location of the last day elf ruins that we're missing. I just don't seem to remember where. I think this might be the pothole. Yeah, this is the pothole. Some um, extra trolls in here. Now, the ruins then. The engraved elf ruins. Where are they? They should be somewhere around here. Rift Ruins, okay. Perfect, perfect, we got him. Okay, completed Ancient Ruins of the Limelight. Uh, some reputation, it seems, is what we got out of this. 10 Luther Points and some reputation. Okay. Still good. Still good, maybe we can... I, I don't think so. I don't think we can get another tier of Limelight Reputation just by doing what we're missing in here, but we can at least advance as much as we as we can in that regard. We got 10 low ultra points. So we need to defeat another of the Lit Master Spiders and another one of the Nemesis one. I can try and do that. This troll is gonna trigger, we will do our best to avoid him. Here's the black or bane. Okay. But we cannot we cannot uh, use that one yet, it seems until we find a deep bane of copper ore, so that 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 leaves me to wander then. What are those located exactly? Because, as far as I remember, this is a quest that you need to complete in a certain order. I mean, you need to use those ore deposits in a certain order if you want to advance the quest.
up it with the friggin' skill uh... I mean, I'm still able to fire some gambits, but not the ones I want. I was able to take it down, nonetheless. Um, so we're just missing one more Venom gland. Where is the guy we're looking for? This is the guy we're looking for! Looking a little bit better than the last time. Feeling more confident with this. Oh, for God's sake. the nasty guys. <laughs> what? Oh, never surrender. What happened? Seems this might be part of the issue with never surrender. And it seems that it's no longer protecting from one shots. Or maybe I just used it and, and didn't realize. But yeah, we're in a tight spot right now. All our gear is yellow. Well, not all our gear, but. But a lot of our gear is yellow. I would hate having to come out of this place just to repair. I sadly don't have a, the town services item with me right now. Yeah, 
I'm, I'm not able to check all the devops I... This guy is kind of fly on me, but from what I can tell, these little spiders can apply a poison that looks like an eye. I will kill you if you don't eh, remove it. I I'm not sure, but I think that's what happened. We used Never Surrender and it's on cooldown now. But I think... I think the worst has already passed. I, I don't think this guy will get a chance of pulling the little spiders again. I hope to God, pray to God that he doesn't. to be doing pretty all right okay i think this time we will get it oh yeah thank you so much let us grab the uh, this corpse in here and leave this spider nest before before they return Back here at, at the black or vein. Let me double check what's what's the deal with this really. Yeah, you need to do this in order, but okay, but yeah. No, th these are the ones that I need to use. But it seems, seems it's, it's got to be a specific uh, vein, not not just anyone. Seems it is this one, the one that will trigger the trolls. Band of angry trolls. Where are they? Oh, I don't see them. Okay, here they come. Oh my god. Would you stop silencing me, please? Stop it! Oh god. And the thing is, you need to defeat the trolls to advance the quest. Jesus. No, I think I do need to repair. 
Uh, hopefully there is a vendor here at the gatehouse so, so that I can go to them. Um, still some minutes before before night time so maybe I, uh, I'll get a chance of Even those trolls a couple more tries before Well, to see if I'm able to do this or not, but But yeah. Let me go on repair <laughs> and give this another try. But yeah, those trolls can be quite hard because once again they they get their momentum buff. Fighting one of those trolls with momentum is already hard enough. Fighting two of them. We travel swiftly, but we will aid you. Maybe a little too much. Uh, let me sell some of the things that I got here. More than anything, just the intention of recovering some money. I this might be a great time to use uh, this food uh, I have and we reduction no a tome of defense maybe of tracking This would be a great time to have the, Welcome, friend. the portents from the Ill Omens event, but I have not finished it yet. I'm debating on whether or not to use the, the Tombs of Defense that I have, because I would also like to save that for later, but I think... Well, I do have more of that I am sure of. Um, let me try once with the food, just the food buffs. And, and afterwards we'll see if the tomes of defense are also necessary because that order of ideas may be a tome of attack would also be would also come in handy here but I'm not sure Look of those trees there. Okay. Here we come, round two. I don't know, maybe I'll need to kite some of these guys. Here comes guy number one. Trying to kite them. Oh, I forgot my food. Okay. Uh, you, you you might feel inclined uh, to try and kite these guys. Problem is these bobs are so powerful, especially when you give them the chance of stacking with each other. But I think kiting is really not a good idea. Especially 
when they stun you like this. God, this is... This is brutal. them is going to die okay what about the other one oh god if i can trigger never surrender hang in there buddy hang in there oh yeah have a fighting chance again Kiting is an option if you manage to get something in between you and the trolls so that they won't know where to go uh, or how to get you. As soon as you're able to take one of those guys down, the other one is far more manageable. With the tools defeated, you can complete your dig. Oh my god, thank you for that. You have discovered a deep vein of copper ore. Now for iron. Yeah, I, I think the food at least should come in handy. We are three minutes away from the cooldown of Never Surrender. Take that. Oh, come on. I think there is a situation in which I will need a Tome of Defense because the very last ore deposit will trigger three orcs, uh, trolls, not two, three. Okay, this is the one. Hope I'm not making a mistake in here. Okay. Anybody? Oh, really? Stop silencing me! Christ! 
Stop resisting my attacks for Christ's sake. I'm not sure the food or the tome of defense are making any difference. And you should totally see my hand positioning right now. It's really awkward. But it's getting the job done, so... I'm trying to be careful not to pull that troll that is... That you can see there, on the horizon. surrender come on Register all my keystrokes for God's sake, please. defeated the troll ambush. I've discovered that deep vein of iron ore now for silver and I don't have a good feeling about this. Uh, Alright, so it seems that vein or of, of silver ore that we are trying to that we are missing to complete this quest is to the northwest I would say right next to the pothole I wouldn't be so sure I, I will need to go and check but I think I'm going to actually go back to the elves I'm gonna uh, turn in the quest that, that we completed for the spiders it's almost night time now, so I want to grab that quest. 
and make sure that I have as much time as possible to do it. Uh, I don't think I, I will have too many troubles finding the spirits, but traversing the area, that can be quite tricky. And I also want to, to give my Never Surrender time to come off cooldown, activate it once more, and then finish that cooldown once again so that I can go against the three trolls with with my full arsenal because yeah that's that sounds challenging like the biggest challenge so far in the limelight and how fitting also that it seems it will be our last one but what are we gonna do first will this trigger the location the, the discovery of the limelight falls yeah completed limelight gorge explorer uh, title, Fidelity, it's almost a level cap now, it is Virtue, that's great. Let me check that. Uh, five little points, 30 marks, Explorer of the Limelight Gorge. Um, you have explored the Limelight Gorge, yeah, pretty self-explanatory. Five little points. And you see here, Fidelity. Oh, that's the problem as well. I don't have Virtues in here. I don't know why I, I didn't realize that. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is a little bit embarrassing, but uh, we can equip Fidelity. I don't know if Honor would be a good one to have, because at this point that seems redundant. But I can get confidence for the extra finesse. Uh, loyalty for the extra morale. Finesse and critical rating. Physical mastery. And I'm also gonna take... I think I'm gonna go with Phineas. I'm tired of these guys resisting my attacks. What I wanted to show you is that we're almost at level cap for Finesse. So the next date that we complete should Fidelity. The next date that we complete should let us cap Fidelity. Uh, so it's time to start thinking what other virtue we will be leveling up before it will be a long time before we unlock a new rank of virtues. Let us talk to Erimeldir. Ah, look, he has a quest already, but we can only complete that in night time. How can I be of service? You gathered those samples, did you? I do hope you were not bitten. Such a bite would likely be fatal, you understand? Yeah, tell me about it. This is a queer thing. The samples you brought from the larger varieties of spider are dangerous, certainly, but I do not think they would harm an end. The anodrim are quite resistant to such things, but this glowing venom, you say it came from a much smaller variety of spider. It is the most potent I have seen. It is very likely the same venom that has afflicted poor Greylin. Fortunately, with a pure sample available, I should be able to brew a draught that may help purge the venom from him in time. But mysteries remain. How is it that a spider came to possess such a venom, seemingly meant to kill trees and another him? And how did this venom find its way into the water and the roots of the trees here? If we cannot stop it soon, much of the forest along the river sedge will soon th sicken and die. You may want to ask the another him if they have seen the spiders lurking about at the forest at the forest sedge of late. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do that. Spiders, you say? Hmm, we have not had any spiders in these woods for many years, many long years indeed. There is a bad blood, you know, between the ants and spiders. That goes far back, hmm, far back indeed. Let me see, I believe it was some years after the men of the sea and the elves drove back the oak darkness again, and not so long after the gardens of the Ant Wives were laid waste, 
that an old, dark-hearted spider wove her lure not far from here in the darkest part of old Fangorn. There she waited, preying upon any so unfortunate as to wandering among her gaze of webs. Of course, in those days there were few who came here, for the forest had been roused to great anger after the desolation of the gardens, and many of those who had once lived near the forest had died in the war or been driven away, so there was little prayer for one such as she. I believe she grew ever more ravenous, and in time we discovered that she had even tried to slake her endless hunger with the living sap of the trees. And so, forum, we turned our anger upon her and her brood. We drove her out then, brushing aside her webs as a child brushes aside cobwebs, and hounded her until she fled beneath the roots of the misty mountains. Mm hmm, we never heard her name again. What was it? Let me think. Hmm. Urthul? Yes, I think that was it. Do spiders live so long? I would not think so, but then I am not a spider, so I cannot say. She would not return here though, she is not strong enough to fight us and her webs are no hindrance to an end, for we can crush stone if we are inclined, but still, really imbecile from a spider's venom and the trees around us sicken. Our deepest roots sicken and the water of the limelight runs foul with venom. The elves tell us it must come from near to this place. But there are no spiders here. Hmm. Parum, I have just remembered then. Raylim told me about it one long summer's day, of a cave he discovered nearby when he was but a slender anting. Beneath the waters of the river, he said it was, where many of the ancient roots of the forest gathered to drink. Hmm. But he could not show it to me because we are full grown ants now and too big for the narrow ways within. It opens nearly onto our groves here, over there, next to the limelight falls, but we have seen no sign of spiders creeping about the entrance. Hmm, mom. If they are within, I cannot say how they came to be there. What do we got here? Okay, some legendary items level up. It seems that the elf Eddie Melder agrees. The source of the venom is likely within the nearby caves. If we could enter ourselves, it would be a simple enough matter to clear out any vermin within. But alas, a full grown ant is much too large for such a place. If you could see fit to gather your friends and take a look around inside, it might be a great relief to us. I suppose we could even consider helping the elves with their little problem. Okay, so we got the quest for the Roots of Angorn, and um, as you see, that's a full fellowship quest. That is an instance, in fact. And I am not feeling inclined to even give that a try. I don't think I can survive that long enough. I do like the instance, but I don't think this is the right time to do it. So we're gonna leave that quest in there for the time being. And um, when I am a little bit more strong, I will certainly go to the Roots of Fangorn. But, as you can see, they also have another repeatable quest. And I think this one should be a little bit easier. Mmm, your tales of wild trees on the far side of the river are traveling. It has been some time, Tarum. Since a shepherd of the forest has been over there, the horns there must have long ago grown wild and dangerous. Yet I recall them from when I was an anting, and would have them rest, if they can, and see their siblings grow in a more peaceful place where we can watch over them. Mmm, home. If you could bring me a few of their seats, I would be much obliged though it is likely that they will not let you gather them peacefully. Simply fend them off and wear them down if you can. Often when a horn becomes exhausted in battle, it may fall asleep 
becoming much like any other tree for a time. So this is a quest for fighting horns, uh, but it doesn't seem that we need to defeat them. I mean, I, I think we're about to finish unlocking all the other uh, repeatables of the Limlight. I don't think we're gonna do repeatables in here, or at least not for the time being, because it's sure within my plans to farm this reputation eventually, but, but I wanna be a few more levels above that so that I can breeze through this area. So yeah, we're gonna leave it right here. Join me next time where we will talk to Arimeldir and get his quest and hopefully be able to <laughs> ah, get the vein of silver ore. For the time being, this has been today's episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you on the next one. Until then, my friends, stay safe, take care, good luck to you all, and I will see you later.